Hello students. This next series of videos is about a topic called ratio and rates. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to learn is exactly what a ratio is and how we actually write a ratio and how we talk about them. Okay, let's have a look at this slide here. Okay, to make concrete, we mix one part cement. Let me change my tool here one part cement to two parts sand to three parts gravel. Now, probably the single most important thing to know about ratios is it doesn't mean we need exactly one bag of cement, exactly two bags of sand and so on. It could be that you're concreting a, a very large area, in which case you might need 10 bags of cement. And that means you'll need 20 bags of sand and 30 bags of gravel. Or if you were going to concrete a huge area, you might need 100 bags of cement and therefore 200 bags of sand and 300 bags of gravel. So when you're talking about ratios, you're just talking about the relationship between different quantities of the same type, in this case, bags. Okay, let's have a look at some of the terminology we use in ratios. So to make concrete, we mix one part cement with two parts sand and three parts gravel. And here's how we write that. We actually write it using the colon. So this reads cement is to sand is to gravel. Or we can say when we're looking at the numbers here, we write one underneath the cement. Again, there's the colon, two underneath sand, the colon, three underneath gravel. And we can say the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Or we could say 1 part cement to 2 parts sand to 3 part, three parts gravel. So that's looking at the ratio. So not the actual amounts that we use, but the relationship between the two. Basically, it's saying that we always use twice as much sand as cement. And we always use three times as much gravel as cement. Okay, let's have a look at um, this particular situation. Okay, at a party, there are three girls for every boy. So we can write a ratio. It doesn't mean there's only three girls there. It just means that for every boy that's there, there's three times as many girls. So we can write a ratio, girls is to boys. And often when you're writing ratios, it helps to put a total in as well. So the ratio of girls is to boys means in total, there's three parts girls to one part boy. That means there's going to be in total four parts. So sometimes putting in a total will help us with some of our um, qu uh, questions that we're solving. Now it turns out you can also write fractions as ratios. So girls is to total. What, what fraction do you reckon that's going to be? Well, it's going to be three is to four. Again, it doesn't mean there's only three girls there. It means that they basically are three quarters of all the students at the party are girls. What's the ratio of boys is to girls? We're looking back over here. For every one boy, there are three girls, and therefore the ratio is one is to three. So ratios can be written as fractions. And it turns out ratios can also be written as percents. So what percentage of the people were girls? Well, again, we first look at it as a fraction and say it was three quarters and three quarters is a fraction. Hopefully you know that that is 75%. Okay, so there's a very quick introduction to what a ratio is and how we write ratios.